for joining me for another shave. Today is Friday, and as you can see for a shave today, I've got out my um, leaf thorn. This one's in black. Also got the leaf uh, multi-bladed one as well. I prefer this, so I am, I man, yeah, we'll see. I might do a head shave here in the video, but this is predominantly for a face shave today. I've got a Permasharp half a D that you can buy them like that. That's what's nice about this razor is it uses half of the blades. So you twist to open it. I'm going to show you how to load it right now. It's got a magnet in there. Now there's the leaf twig and the leaf thorn. The thorn is more aggressive. I've never used the twig. I just went through the for the thorn and you don't have to open this all the way. This is a Russian Perma Sharp. I have. I don't even know if they make um, if they've redone Perma Sharps yet. If they've changed production with them or did they cancel them? Let me know down below. And the other big difference between the DE one and this one is to see the two holes. That has to do with manufacturer. It has nothing to do with the razors it's meant for. These are actually meant for a uh, shave that. So there's a little magnet here and goes right on the stops like that and then you just twist and it takes a bunch of twists to, to go all the way down. That's that. I wish they made an open comb and I wish they made a, an adjustable version of this. Alright. Brush. I've got my EverReady, what is it, a C40. For soap today, I got Viennese Main Made New England Leather. Now, I just got it on this because the uh, scuttle I was using, I've got my vintage Colgate. And this is leather. This is a glycerin-based soap. They're on eBay. I don't think they ship internationally, but it's a very good glycerin-based soap. I got the whole Viennese recommended by Scott with Shane with Peg Leg. And they, I've got their uh, barber shop. In the leather now I've got their aftershave but this is an Avon leather decanter 10 point buck I put it in this comes in a nice little bottle and the price on that soap I think it's about nine bucks for the puck um, and that was nine I'm not totally sure I'll put it down below and for post shave today I just got lucky with Chazel so let's get on with the shave I'm gonna use it like a shave puck and I know I'm getting water all over me, but it's late at night here. i got two days on the face. I've got three, four on the head. Very strong leather scent with this. Good stuff. So what's been going on with me? I told you guys I was doing the heat pump stuff again, and I did Thursday was the test. Don't get my results until next week. I went back for the type one and three type ones, for, uh, you know, small appliance, five pounds or less. Two, which I already had, is heat pumps and high pressure, and three is low pressure. And once you get your all three of them, you're universal. And that's the EPA 608 for handling refrigerants. I also got two razors on the way. They'll be here tomorrow, Saturday. I'll do a quick short with them. They're cartridge handle razors. They're Atras. One's my birth year. And the other one I got for a heck of a steal. So, and I'll talk about that when it gets here. Let me shake some of the water out of this. This has been soaking for a while, so there we go. It's making a darn mess is what it's doing.
Oh yeah, I was contacted by um, Pearl. I'm going to review one of their razors. Well, you guys know what I said about that reviewing that. I'm going to be honest. And I'm not going to make it a regular thing. It's just, just going to be products that I know that you guys would want to use. Nothing dumb like that face massager that I got an offer to review. And that's my opinion. I'm not, that's not my cup of tea, any of that kind of stuff. So, you like it, that's fine. <laughs> I'm my. Went to the antique shop today. Nothing new, razor wise. Okay, it's not paste, but it's not butter cream either. Somewhere in between. Good enough, it's slick. So, Alright, first pass. And this is a good beginner's single edge razor. Although if you're going to get it, um... And you've never shaved before, maybe the twig. And me, I get a better head shave with this than I do the multi blade one. This reminds me a lot of a Schick injector. Angle's pretty intuitive. You can get them saloon packs. Very inexpensive. Lord has them. Permasharp. Uh, Derby. Shark. But that's, you know, Lord. There's some other ones as well. I think even some of the um, Chinese blades come in half. Uh, Dorcos. Yeah, and if you're going to have one razor, this would be the one razor. If you're going to own one razor, this is it. The only thing I don't like about this is it's made out of Zamac. That's it. That's my only one gripe and... They don't have um they don't have an adjustable or I think I may have let this brush soak too long. I meant it let it soak about forty minutes. <laughs> Not in hot water. So yeah, that not adjustable and Zamac. They did make a titanium version, but it was really expensive. Alright, side grain. Well, the one I am, I'm going to contact Parker. Because everybody's been saying, oh, you need to review that, uh, the Parker single edge. It's a, it's a little cheaper than this. So, I'll either buy it or I'll contact them and review it. See if I can review it. See how it compares to this. I don't, I gotta catch up with all you guys' videos here this weekend. That do content.
and left pass. against the grain. Nice knurling on this too. One part it is kind of difficult is going against the grain because of how that angle is. But you'll know if you've got the right angle because it'll actually shave and you can hear it. If you got it the wrong, it's not going to shave. Good there, yeah, right there. Go for the BBS today. Yeah, I'll do a separate head shave. That's it. Closeness. 9.5 out of 10. Just a little bit under VBS. Mostly on the lower neck. Up here it's smooth. No soap behind the ear. Okay. Any cuts? Let's see. Man. Let's see what the irritation is. We did them extra passes. Not feeling anything, so it's good. Yvonne, 10 point buck with Viennese New England leather out of Maine. A little bit of burn. There's a lot of alcohol in that though. So, that's it. Here's my uh, face shave for the week. Uh, yeah, next uh, week I'm going to have two because it'll be Lather Catcher Sunday because it's May. Not sure which one I'm going to get out yet. So, uh, Leaf Thorn, good razor. Uh, beginner, I recommend maybe the twig. If you're an experienced shaver and you know you like a little more aggression in a razor, not, you know, this isn't... Uh, 
it's not like it's super aggressive. Go with this one. Uh, yeah, they're good razors. Wait for their on sale, though. The price is really expensive on them. And but if I get my hands on the Parker, like I said, I'll do a comparison. Uh, yeah, so when them razors in, I'll do that video. I have to head shave up probably tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. I'll crack out a D or something. Or an SE razor, we'll say. Maybe a Schick injector. I'm not sure yet. So, yep, that's it. So, hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Till I see you next. Um, yeah. Need to get a hold of me? Contact the email is cdnvt802 at gmail.com. Appreciate you guys' support and uh, answering even questions on my end. Some of you guys answered some good questions. So, yeah. Take care out there and happy shopping.